This is a full set of hybrid irons from the brand 11. 18 degree 3 hybrid through to a 43 degree pitching wedge. In today's video we will discover if these clubs can make golf easier for some golfers. Most of us will be familiar with 3 and 4 hybrids. A lot of manufacturers are seeing increased sales in the 5, 6 and 7 hybrids. But my main area for concern is here. Can I really play golf with an 8, 9 and pitching wedge in a hybrid? And if I can, is it beneficial for me? The clubs are fitted with a KBS TGI shaft, which is a graphite shaft designed to play like steel and comes in four options. 50 gram ladies, 60 gram senior, 70 gram reg and 80 gram stiff. I will also reveal my secret strategy to try these clubs without paying for a full set. So I'll be collecting Trackman data with the hybrids and also comparing performance with my own irons. I will also show you why swing speed is key to whether these suit your game or not. Wow, that is so good hasn't moved either. And I will also give you my feedback after taking these out onto the golf course. But let's start with how good these things look. At $89.99 per club, these clubs are not the most expensive hybrids and that is not reflected in the quality of the build. They look good and are easy on the eye. Each club comes with its own sock-like head cover, which makes plenty of sense as anything bulkier than that could cause some major issues fitting into the bag. Right, that is dry ball data collected and trust me, don't go anywhere because that is already a big surprise. First of all, that's higher than I'd expect to hit the ball. The first thing I want to see out on the golf course is if the numbers that were really, really positive with Trackman dry ball data, are they going to end up being a negative when you're out on the golf course? So this is where we landed coming from that direction, by the way. So pin high from the fairway. Don't forget it's 155 playing an eight iron slightly downwind. That's pretty much exactly the, uh, the club and distance I'd expect from my own set of clubs. The main difference, just how ball, how high rather, that ball went. Right, so this is the first point of interest for me. That's 83 yards, so it's kind of like a three quarter wedge. Let's just get a ball and throw a ball down, see what it does. And this is the kind of thing where I think it would be really weird, or it seems like it would be really weird. I'll soon tell you whether it is or not. So that's trying to play a three-quarter wedge shot with, uh, well, with a hybrid iron. I almost like want to swing the club slightly different than I would an iron. And that's uh, just something that I'm going to have to get used to. That's not bad. And the interesting bit was even took a divot the same way as I would do with a wedge as well. Probably laid off it a little bit too much. And it's something you definitely have to get used to is how you control the wedges in terms of that distance control, but just the same way as you would do with a new set of clubs in any way. This is the bit that's interesting for me. So the spin number in terms of Trackman you'll see very shortly was super impressive and uh, spin number in particular very high. Now we're playing into the wind, is that going to work as a negative out on the golf course? It doesn't seem to be, I pulled it a little bit left but the ball's gone off, that was a 5 hybrid. Oh. Ball flight, superb. Sit down. So with the short game stuff, and I'm talking about wedge in and around the green, I felt the club is maybe a little bit clumbersome. But then on the other hand, we're not talking about 
anybody with a razor sharp short game all of a sudden picking up a hybrid pitching wedge you've really got to remember who these clubs are designed for and if you're just wanting to get sort of club on ball popping it up and get it running somewhere near the hole then so far the wedge is doing pretty much that oh it's flown you know they're not hovering at all i was expecting them that's going to go long yeah it's on the back end of the green i was expecting it to hover with that high spin but that's gone long i went up a club we're playing uh, sort of 135 into the breeze i'd normally play nine iron i went with eight thinking like i said but that's absolutely just zipped off it wow that is so good hasn't moved either and so that ball we just played 155 tad down breeze and uh, that was an eight hybrid i used so i'm now pretty much using exactly the same like for like the iron i would use has now become the hybrid iron that i would use so no confusion whatsoever oh. Serious change in mindset required, I think. Oh, do you know what? I think that's enough shots hit on the golf course. I think we need to start off now with that dry ball data. Just what was so special and interesting about it. And then I'll give you my overall summary. So we started this video off with a very simple question. That is why would anybody use a full bag of hybrids as opposed to irons? Well, quite simply, the answer is because they are very, very easy to use. They are very effective. They're almost one dimensional and take so many different variables out of the equation that once you get the sort of uh, mental approach right, then these could be very effective for a lot of golfers. I said I would address the situation with relation to swing speed. I think very much dependent on swing speed, they could have a negative impact and that being if you swing the club too fast, the likelihood is the spin rate is going to increase and it could be a real negative but at my level and i was expecting to see um, a negative impact in relation to spin out on the golf course they were perfectly fine it had no adverse effect whatsoever and if you look at this dry ball data what you'll see is they produced incredibly good numbers as i suggested from that trackman little session that we did I looked at pitching wedge seven iron and five hybrid and the numbers were phenomenal. The carry distance was exceptionally good. The ball speeds were good. All the launch angles were very good. And the spin number was very much higher than I normally achieve with an iron in hand. And that can often be a negative for me in my own personal trackman data. So what I was expecting to see, and I mentioned it a few times out on the golf course, was a few balls that might float and hover. I didn't see that and it was relatively windy conditions out on Hollywell Golf Club, as you could see. So overall, hugely impressed and shocked and surprised as to what these things did, both in terms of that data and out on the golf course. The short end of the bag would still be something that for me personally, I'd have to sort of get my head around. It's a change in mentality required. You really need to commit. I was a little bit scared and a little bit tentative with the wedge in hand because of the bulk and mass sat behind the ball. I was expecting it to sort of fire on and uh, didn't pay enough attention to the loft and have enough faith in the loft and just let the club do its own thing. Just that reference to loft, I just want you to look at a pitching wedge behind the ball or the dress and it presents so much loft and so much more than you would ever expect to see with an equivalent iron at a dress that again it was a massive boost in confidence because with all those clubs at the shorter end of the bag the eight nine and pitching wedge that i was slightly concerned about then the confidence that they gave at a dress the amount of visible loft was incredible so nice white score lines that you can see that really framed the ball well and i genuinely believed that all i needed to do was put half a swing on and the ball would launch high and it did so really really impressed i think this is a set of golf clubs that has been around for a while 
and late in terms of me reviewing them but i think it's something that i would really really recommend that any golfer that's struggling right now get a little bit of a go on these and the way to get a little bit of a go on these is this i mentioned a way in which to purchase these in which is a bit of a foolproof way in making sure you don't waste money and you get to try these things the way that 11 sell these is in groups of clubs so it's either three through to pitch your wedge four through to pitch your wedge or five through to, through to pitch your wedge i think your options to buy as a ready-made set you do however have the option of buying individual clubs and i think this is the key element because if you buy a full set each of these hybrids works out at around 85 uk pounds per club but if you buy them individually they only work out at 90 pounds per club now to me to make sure it's a risk-free investment and just to see whether or not you can make these things work or not i think it's far more sensible to just buy one of these clubs maybe two of them and certainly in that short end of the bag and see if you can get your head around the idea and the concept before you shell out for a full set and i think that's a foolproof way of getting a little bit of a try before you buy or certainly before you invest big money so overall a massive thumbs up hugely impressed by what 11 have done there is certainly a place for this type of club in the marketplace and it could well be that it will help many of you play better golf and ultimately enjoy it a bit more score a bit better and leave that golf course with a smile on your face right a little bit different in the style of review please let me know what you thought of both the 11 hybrids and also the style of the content you've seen in today's video as ever Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.